Hi, and welcome back to our Six and Arrow in Ashcamp Peaks and Dexter Drake's Adventure Through the Scarlet Keys in the Playing Board Games Play Along League Season 3. Uh, I went over the deck building restrictions for this season in the first video, but for now, let's go over through the upgrades. We each had 8 XP, Pete had, uh, Ashcan had 1 bank, so we got 9. So when we ended up with Gang, is a second lucky 3. And that uh, kicked out a winging it, which then shifted one of the, uh, which shifted a take card to take a forgotten eight slot instead. So that's fine. Um, second thing we did is we took an upgraded scavenging, taking out a scrounge for supplies. And we took out a fire axe and put in two emergency quiches upgraded. So one is going to take a Dunwich slot and one is going to take a revised corset slot. So everything is uh, legal. You'll have to trust me. So that's uh, that's uh, Ashcan's upgrade, and we need to shuffle these in. For Dexter, what we did is we didn't touch the customizables this time. What we ended up taking is we kicked out 121 or bust for a second round of Kathaga. We need good fighting options. And we upgraded both Mr. Brilliant to level 2. So again, we stayed inside. This time I'll remember. Copy this. This also has a weakness. Uh, we're going to Without a Trace. We're at 30 time exactly going into Without a Trace. I've already done setup. We blew the whistle, so we get a leaky. And this is our other world deck. We have three uh, City of Remnants already in the shadows. We have uh, two skulls, which are minus X, where X is half the number amount of locations around it down. We have three uh, cultists, which are minus four, and if we fill, uh, somebody's going to smack us in the fake face. We have one cultist, uh, one tablet, and one other thing. So one minus X is the number of hollows, and one minus three, and if we fail, we hollow something. This is our encounter deck. We have to shuffle a uh, random dude inside. It's going to be Amaranth again. That's fine. Okay, uh, five doom advances as an additional cost to enter a loca unrevealed location. We need to spend two clues, and after we expose the location, we can move to it, and we need to find the heart, uh, the outsider's lair, which is in the bottom three cards of the outworld deck. So uh, we start here, and this is our resign, and that's where we'll need to go when we get the Red Love Man. Spoilers. Uh, okay, this gets exchanged. This is a pretty ni nice opening hand. And then for Dexter, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if we can get an outsider enemy who's already aloof, we can make him our bitch really, really easily. Um, these two are pretty good assets. And Keish is good economy. We can kick this and hope to get a spell asset. That's fine. We got a brand. Uh, we forgot to mulligan here. We would have kicked out, obviously, this take heart. Uh, this is good economy, but I don't think we need it early on. We would have mulliganed these three. One, two, three. Okay. This hand went from great to awesome. So this is a two shroud location. Let's start with Ashcan, I think, right? We will immediately shift this to play something for free, and that free card is going to be, well, it doesn't matter. It could be the pocket multi-tool. First action, one, two, three. We will play Mr. Sylvester. Second action, we'll investigate with this. So we're at a six to two. That's up by four. That's good enough. That's a clue. Um, last action, we're going to gain a resource so we can be able to play this next turn. Okay, Dexter, he's going to take two actions to bring out the Rosary and the Ritual Candles. I think all of it is five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to empty ourselves. Okay, great. And we do upkeep. One of five doom. We got Otherworldly Mimic, a.k.a. he's going to be our bitch. And you get matter inversion. Okay, he's not. He might not be our bitch anymore. Although it's not bad. The fact that he's not aloof doesn't really hurt us. Though we need to unkeish it, which means we take two horror. I think that's fine. We could also always deny existence to horror. Okay, let's start with uh, Mr. Ashcampi. So first action, one, two, three. We're going to play out six cents. We're also going to fast out this ice pick, and we're pretty set to go. Second action, we investigate at a five to two. Let's go six to two. It's a minus zero. Minus, yeah, it's a minus zero. Um, we'll just take one clue, I think. 
Yeah, we only need player clues to move. Last action, we'll investigate with Duke at a 6 to 2. We're trying to expose the location. Let's try this. City of Remnants, L. So if it was the left one, we lose two resources. We have none to lose. So this goes here. And we do this. We shuffle these. And we'll go to here and to here, I guess. Now I can spend clues to move there, right? After you expose the location, move to that location. Yep. Let's go. Force after you reveal, look at the top card of your deck. If it's not a weakness, set it aside out of play as a hollow. It isn't a weakness. We lost our Shoffners, but she'll return for us very soon. This is a, v a VP location. That's pretty good. Okay. So that was our turn. We could just kill this with Dexter and wait about with getting a bitch. I think that could work. Although, that does mean he's a th three, two. Oh, it's health to get clues, eh? That's not the best. Let's attack him at an eight to four. That's a minus four. We succeed by zero. Oh, we succeed by one. Thanks to the ritual candles. We'll just spend two and kill this guy off. That's not bad. Second action, we're going to draw a card. Last action, do we join? I don't think we join. We draw another card. Yeah, okay. I'll keep. Is this the good scavenging? No. Two of five, encounter card is. This annoying little tidbit. And you get, now this guy, could theoretically be a very good bitch. But we don't, oh, we don't want to end our turn at his location. Well, that's interesting. But we can command him from a location away. So, yeah, let's, oh, but that, then <laughs> it ends up taking an action if we play on quiche and it's a fast. Um, we will start with Dexter. Let's cut a f so no, if we're going to do a Faustian Bargain, then let's start here. First action, we're going to investigate at a 7, 8 to 4. It's a minus 4, that's fun, we did not fail. We're going to crack the ice pick to get these two clues. Second action, we're going to play the scavenging. We're going to ready the market multi-tool. And last action, we're going to investigate again at a 7 to 4. That's a minus one. That's absolutely fine. I think so seven to four. So six to four, we succeed by two. Give me this back. And we get to see what we get. City of Remnants L. Sorry, this was supposed to take its place. We take a damage. By we, I mean Ashkan. Uh, Duke. Okay. Uh, so this goes here to the bottom. These shuffle. We'll put it here. Now technically that location is here, so we're going to put it here. I don't think we get a choice. Right? Because yeah, these are adjacent. And we can spend two clues to go there. And also since we expose, we're going to exhaust and get our shofners back. And we're going here. Okay. 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 End of turn, we test this at a 5 to 3. We're going to lucky it. Right, we didn't play, we investigated the last action. So we're 8 minus 4, yeah, we pass, and we also draw a card. Excellent. Dexter, my boy. Uh, we don't have much to do. We'll engage this guy, we'll fight him with the brand at an 8 to 3. Minus 3 total. So 8 minus 3, that's 5. 5 to 3, we succeed by 2. It doesn't really matter, we'll spend 3 charges. So that was two actions, last action. Actually, I'm going to play the Scroll of Secrets. Let's see what we can get. Sure, we'll pick up a Wall Connected. And we'll do Upkeep. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Either we shift an unstable key, or flip... Let's flip this. We have never used it. Three of five Doom. Three of five doom. 
paracausal entity. Okay, and he gets a moonstone. Absolutely fine. Uh, highest printed. It's either the brand. Like, it would make us advance, so I'd probably put it over the rosary, unfortunately, because I really like the rosary. Between actions, I'm going to look what we got. This goes away. That actually makes me feel a bit better. Um, so let's start here with Ashkan. We're going to fight at a 6-3. to three. No. Yes. I'm going to fast out an ice pick, I think. Seven to three by four. That's where we want to be. That ready's duke that kills this guy. That was an action. Second action. I'm gonna investigate here at a five to two. No, I'm gonna first. I'm gonna end of the road, which gives me. So I did one action. Gives me an action. Draws me a card. Gains me a resource. I'll use. I will ready ice pick, and I'll investigate. With myself, so I'm at a 6 to 2, up by 4. That's a minus 1. I'll crack this to get both clues. Alright, is there also an item I can return? Because I think I succeeded by enough. There are none. Then I'll gain a res. Do I play a Shoffner's now? Um, no, I'll investigate with Duke at a 4 to 2, and we'll see what happens. Yep. Um, so it, these have higher chances. So let's try going left. It's a decoy. Unfortunate. Is this your after I expose a location? Or, no, nope, after a concealed minute card is exposed. So I definitely, definitely want to get the Schaffners out. Last action, I'll gain a resource. Dexter, my boy. Um, let's try fighting the location. We'll fight at 8 to 2. Yeah, I'm going to spend one charge and try revealing this. This is the middle one. Sorry, this goes in. Middle makes me hollow a card. Where from? From my hand. That's a bummer. And this, re once again, resolve the concealed one. I'm going to put it here and here. I hope this shuffled properly. Here and here. I'm going to move this away. Um, are we reaching the bottom three? Now we're at the bottom three. Okay. Uh, I need to hollow a card from my hand. It's going to be this well connected, I think. Right, the rosary is going to turn into a mists. Second action. Let's play a game, 21 or bust. We're probably going to fill this five, six, seven, nine. Still 9, 13, 15, 20. We're done. We gain 6 resources. Last action, we're going to brand again. Oh, I don't spend the charge yet. Or I didn't. I mean, I know this is a decoy. Right? Oh no, there's one more. I'm going 8 to 2. Yep. We'll reveal this one. That's the right one. So we take a whole roar, which we're going to put on the rosary, which we're discarding anyways. Give me this with a decoy. This goes here. And now this is the direction we want to go. Up here. We'll go right and left. Yep. Um, right. We could have moved to it, but Dexter has no clues. And now we're going to do our magic trick of kicking these, paying one, and making it become a Miss Cerulea. And then we upkeep. And we earned ourselves a full round. This shit again. Okay. Um, this is a problem now. Because they're not so random, and we know we want to go this direction, so let's take a damage and a horror. Is that each investigator? That's a bit of a bummer. Damage, horror. Boop. Okay, one second.
Um, yeah, okay. So this is not a this is not a direction I want. We want to go up here if we can. Also, either swap the position adjacent to or swap two locations in the shadows. Just to recall, the right hand one is one of our options. One, two, three. Okay, so we want to get right. So it's one of these. We want to start going up. So Dexter doesn't have the resources for it. Um, we will move for first action. Second action, we'll play Schnaufnitz. Last action, we will move Vestigate into here. We will use this to investigate at a 6 to 2. That's a clue. And we get to scavenge back our ice pick. We'll also use it immediately to play this. No, we won't play that. Will we play that? We won't play that. We're going to pitch this to ready their pocket multi-tool. One, two, three. And technically, we played it, so I guess it does take the action. Peter heals, and we're testing it to six to three now. Seven to three. That's good enough. We go, we'll play this next turn. That's fine. Um, Dexter, between actions, he's going to look at the bottom card of his deck. Let's read the signs, because why not? So this is investigators at my location. So I can walk in with Dexter spending Ashkan's clues. That's our first action. Boop. Ha! Okay, that's a bummer. That's going to be two damage. Which is going to be very hard to soak. Second action, we're going to pay two to read the signs. So we're at an eight to whatever. So three. Take these. Last action, we're going to try evading our location. I think, is it correct to go in last action? Because it's going to spawn a massive dude on us if we get the right location immediately. So I think we turtle up for one more turn. And what we do is we rock hard. Okay, good. And we do upkeep. Now this is advancing, obviously, which is going to shuffle big dudes into the deck. Two victory dudes, actually. So along with the encounter discard file? No. Uh, the investigators must choose to it. We hollow stuff. We shuffle all concealed mini cards, or we take a damage and a horror. That's each investigator. So damage and horror is probably one of the easiest options we take. And... Uh, and we'll hollow stuff from our hand. Next turn, we'll kick a watch this, and you're going to kick a moonstone. Okay. Once again, five clues and same text. Amaranth. Okay. And you get a compulsion. Amaranth is very interesting, but we can uh, thankfully kill her in one go. So we'll fast out this ice pick. We're attacking with Duke, so it's a four, five, six, seven to four. Um, is that by three enough? No, we're gonna ready the pocket multi-tool and go nine to four. So minus two. We'll crack the ice pick to kill Amaranth. It's a bit of a bummer to do it this way, but that's the best we can do. Second action, we're walking up. Last action, like two damage is manageable. I'm going to try exposing. So we're investigating at a six to three. So minus four, we fail, but there's nothing that will attack us. Okay. Let's try compulsing. No, we have to. So this is gone. Again, we don't want to do it last action. Because... A dude can show up on us. Let's try. You know what? Well, you don't have time. We're going to try evading with mists. So we're at a 7 to 3. 
we'll watch this. We'll be eight to three and we'll gamble three up by five. So we get six back. We succeed, we're gonna try the left one. It's a decoy. Okay, that was easily solved. Let's do the right. We do upkeep. I only did it once, right? It didn't give me an extra card, but it gave me an extra resource. Okay. One of five, encounter card is. This guy could probably be our bitch. But so could this guy. Um, three to three, three to four. And we don't want to end our turn with him. Let's start with Ashcan, and we're going to investigate at a eight. Eight to three. It's a minus two. So let's just scavenge back this ice pick. You reveal this. Where it's the right one, so we take a horror, thanks Pete. Oh, we should have healed, well, never mind. And we go this one. I'm gonna put one here and one here. And we're gonna try moving, spending Dexter's Clue. And we're doing a five test, right? We'll pitch this to be six. We're up by one. Minus one. That's good that we pitched it. So we actually move here without taking damage. That's Eclipse of Insanity, which means they move to uh, empty spots in adjacent locations. So they're actually back here. That's fine. And we expose the location. We're going to let uh, Dexter pick up a lucky cigarette case. Yeah. Now let's do the watch this, and then eventually we'll get to the cigarette case. We're gonna play out this here ice pick. Second action, we're investigating at a seven to three. That's up by four. That cracks this ice pick wide open. Last action, we're going six to three. That's a minus one, two, three. That's absolutely fine. We get this. Okay. Here. Um, we don't want to end our turn with him, do we? So, first action, one, two. We're going to Spectral Razor this guy. So we're at a nine to three. This guy's dead. Second action, it's not an action. We're going to one, two, three. We're going to fast out this power word. And we're going to make this guy our bitch. Um, we're also going to, well, we're going to take the action. We're going to exhaust him on us. Not evade him, because that means he won't re, re and disengage. We'll exhaust him. I'm... I think we heal a damage because we're going to take some from moving. Uh, yep, let's heal the damage. And finally, I'm going to evade the location. So I'm at a 6, 7 to 3. Let's go 8 to 3 and gamble 3 again. Minus 2, we get them back. So we go up to 7. And let's try to the top because that won't smack us. Obviously, it's a decoy. Okay, enemy phase nothing. Pete heals at the end of the turn. We do upkeep. Two of five, and counter card is one of these. So he eats our track shoes. And don't play events. Just don't. After an event is played, instead of discarding it. This doesn't discard, so it's a good question. But for now, uh, Ashcan can bite him. We're gonna bite at a six to three, right? Six to three is our best. I'll pitch this and redo it. Yep, beating a minus four. Second action, we're gonna investigate at a six to three. Okay, we succeed by two, which brings us our trusty ice pick back. 
We'll fast it in real quick. Last action, removing here, and we heal Pete. Pete is healed. Hooray! Um, let's exhaust this guy. To we'll also ex well, well we're giving him a command. Exhaust and heal our damage. Second action, we'll give him. Oh, the shroud here is three, so we can't do it. So we won't do that. We'll just evade the location again. At seven to three, up by four, that's pretty good. So minus three, we succeed. So, ho! Oh, surprise, surprise, it's this thing. With a decoy, shovel these up real good. It goes here and here. And we'll try moving, spending one of our clues and one of Pete's clues. We're testing a foot three. We're obviously failing this. We, ah, it's a five. Crap. I will return this and draw a card. We're taking two damage. We reveal this. And here's the outsiders there. We still have one action left. Which is why I allowed myself to go into here. Each enemy at this location loses a loof and gets plus one five and plus one evade. Interesting. So we advance. This goes down. Uh, spawn the Nemetic enemy exhausted. Okay, so it does give me time. Um, and also I take a horror from exposing that. Um, each investigator chooses two non-weakness cards and their discard pile and sets them aside as a hollow and we find the Red Glove Man and... Uh, okay. So, where is the Red Glove Man? There he is. One of our hollows. Also, we expose the location, so we get to pick up this lucky cigarette case. It's just, well, we can strategically plan this, right? I know, because we discard them. But we will take this and this. And he will take this. And, no, we want the sharpeners. And let's say this, yeah, this take heart. Okay, that was this. Uh, cannot be discarded or drawn. If he's at our location, we can spend a clue to deal two damage to him. And when we, every time we damage, is he elite? Yeah. Um, okay, plus one five, plus one evade. So he's a five evade. Um, okay. Uh, da da da. When you would deal damage to this enemy, instead, choose and discard that many set-aside hollows. At the end of the round, each investigator at this location must choose a non-weakness card in their hand and set it aside as a hollow, or he attacks us. Um, we could probably take the hit. Last action. Oh, we don't have clues, eh? We'll find him with the brand. Um, it's either that. Or we escape. Let's fight him with the brand. So we're at an 8 to 4. Yep, we succeed by 0, which means we lose 2 actions, which you don't have to lose. We're going to discard these 2. And we're going to use our lightning bolt to kick this. And make it an Azor Flame. This is end of the round. End of the round. Okay. Uh, enemy phase nothing, we do upkeep. We have to flip both of our stable keys to their unstable side. And he's going to attack us for one and one. Okay, three of whatever. Counter card is this thing. Spawn location farthest from all investigators. That's here. Spawn the top card of the nearest investigators. Deck face down as a golem. The golem is defeated, becomes a hollow. Okay. Okay, this is good for us. Because we can succeed to take a horror and return a hollow. Though we're getting, well, we'll be fine because he's going to heal us. Um, so let's pitch the cigarette case. We're going 7 to 3. If we succeed by 2 or more, we did. We're going to take a horror to return this. Um, so, he has three, the shroud here is five, and this guy's ready now. 
So I think we start with Ashkan. We're going to duke into here. First we test a foot five. We'll go seven to five because we don't want to take too much damage. That's great. We duked our way into here to investigate. He does, does he deal attack of opportunities? He does, doesn't he? Then never mind. We don't want to take an AOO for no reason. Did I end of the road when I couldn't? Wow. Okay, it's going to take... I can't retcon this now, but this was a huge mistake, which I saw. So we'll start by using him to exhaust and ping, heal a horror. We're going to... That was an action. Second action. He's a four. I'm a six. I'm going to try shooting him down at a seven. No, I'm at seven to four. He has zero flame. That deals me a damage. That's not so hot. So we discard two more set aside hollows. Last action, we're going to evade with the Miserilia. We're at a 7 to 5. 9 to 5, up by 4. It's great. We evade him and we move out. Now he's going to be, start being Duke's problem. So now we do what we wanted to do. We Duke our way into here. We exhaust this to get a plus 2. Yep, pass. And we're investigating at a 6 to 5. We'll ready it. 8 to 5, up by 3. We fail. We fail. We're going to spend a clue to deal 2 damage discarding these. Right, we can do that. And if the Red Glove Man is the only citizen. Hollow. We take control of him. Put him into play under the control of any investigator here. Okie doke. Uh huh. So each outsider enemy loses a loop. That's fine. If he's defeated, remove him from the game. And we're looking to resign. So I think we can give up this Veeps and we're just going to GTFO. Okay, good. Enemy phase. So what happens is this he doesn't hunt. Right? He just sits there. At the end of the if they spawn the top card of the nearest investigator, which is Dexter, where does it spawn? At its location as a golem enemy. Okay, now this guy readies. He does hunt. This guy's ready as well. We do upkeep. Okay. We're at four, five doom. Counter card is. Sure. So here, 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 here. Good. You get a freebie. It's really a freebie because it's advancing anyways. So uh, Dexter, make this guy sit down and heal a damage. Second action, we're walking in. Last action, we're going to try resigning at a 6 to 4. Um, we're going to actually kick this as our flame real quick and make it living ink. So we're at a 7 to 4. We'll go 8 to 4, pitching this. Yep, we've resigned. This guy is exhausted here. And we've walked away. That's it. Ashcan, first action move. Second action, we try resigning at 6 to 4, 7 to 4, up by 3. We're out. Okie doke. Yep, we got both Red Glove and What's Her Face, so we do R1. So we were at without a trace, so out R1. Yada, 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 yada. Victory X, 1 bonus XP. We know she's at her side, and we get to embark after three times. So we get victory one here. There's one here. We didn't get this. 
we didn't get this. And we, this could have been another victory. So this was a victory and there was another victory here. Um, not a very bountiful victory wise, but three beeps I'll take. This guy doesn't hunt. I didn't know he doesn't hunt. That's just boring. Okay. And there was the effigy somewhere here. The thing. Okay. So three VP and we're done. Um, from here, we're going to basically embark from Bermuda, going into Anchorage to play our final scenario, which is Thin Ice, which costs us the penultimate time. We will get a fourth cultist, but we get an extra scenario. So uh, we win some, we lose some. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.